I want to start it off with a little story that I had it happened to be just this morning. So I've been starting up in hot yoga. Do you guys know what hot yoga is? Yeah, yeah, it's where like everyone's topless. It's, it's, it's where when you show up to yoga class, the guy at the door is like, mm, yeah, you're hot enough. Get in here. <laughs> he hotter knots the door. <laughs> oh, not, not. I not. show up and he's like, get out of here, fatty. Oh, yeah. Go do sad yoga. You got to go next door to not yoga. That's you. That's you. <laughs> Over there. This one's called <laughs> Yoga Next Door, but you have to go next door if you're not welcome here, you non 10. You have to go to Yoga Next Door and do the not yoga <laughs> class. It's not a whole. Ours is just hot yoga, but not yoga is only part of their business. Uh huh. Very confusing. So, Did we get it right? No, actually. Surprisingly. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, hot yoga is simply what it sounds like. You're in a room doing yoga, but it's very hot. So it's about 105 degrees on oh, average, wow. I think, is most of these. That is hot. It's like a sauna. It's a lot less hot to picture. Yeah, it's a sauna you're in a room it's a group class and you're just sweating your ass off but it's very therapeutic i started it up recently because pam actually introduced me to the concept many years ago and i was like i'll try it again and it was very 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 hot in the room the first time I, I went back and it had been years since i'd done it since this wasn't yesterday or this wasn't today but i went there and i tried too hard and i sweat so much i started cramping up and i walked out of the room with like a limp because my muscles oh, were just no. like completely dehydrated because i tried too hard and you're not supposed to try hard at yoga i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be relaxing yeah i'm good at not trying hard this might be good for me <laughs> i mean it might be I, I i think it's very nice but once i got done today it was extremely hot i was able to do the poses better but it was much faster faster paced. Um, and at the end of it, like after 50 minutes, it's either uh, an hour or an hour and a half. I was laying on the ground on my mat, just drenched in sweat on the border of overheating, just being like, oh, maybe I should step out of the room. And I had my eyes closed. I was just trying to rest. It was after all the poses. And I was just like trying to deal and hold on. And then I felt like this cold thing hit my forehead and I opened my eyes and the instructor had walked around very quietly and had been placing cool towels on people's foreheads. Oh. And I remember in that moment, I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And I thought about it and I was like, that's kind of like the idea of hot yoga is that it's not entirely comfortable. You, you are obscenely hot, you're doing exercise and you're sweating and you're so focused on trying to stay in the moment while not focusing on the heat. And in that moment, the cool refreshing towel was the greatest gift I had received in a long time. I, I thought about it in this way, what I would have given to have that cool towel in that moment. I didn't even know I wanted it. I didn't even know it was great. And it was just given to me. And I know it's probably just standard practice for that, but I'd been to other hot yoga classes and I didn't get that at the end of it. But it was just in that moment I thought about, I was like, man, this is better than food. This is better than a toy. Any kind of like electronic or, or cool new gadget in this moment, I would prefer this right now. And it made me incredibly grateful and also made me incredibly self-conscious about the things that I take for granted in my life. And it made me think of like, oh my God, this is such a small token. I never would have asked for it, and yet it was given readily, probably standard procedure, but I have never been more grateful in my life for this small thing. Hmm. And I, I almost cried. Like, I literally was on the ground, breathing heavy, sweating. I almost cried right then and there, just because it was so meaningful. And I was thankful for the smallest thing I could have ever imagined. And the instructor is the one that put me through all the, <laughs> that stuff. You know, like, put me through all the poses and made it, but I mean, I pushed myself. So, today... I know it's Thanksgiving this week, and usually it's like big things that you're thankful for. But I can think of many moments in my life where I was thankful for a very small token. Not because, you know, it wasn't like a bigger thing would have meant more. It was that in that moment, in a moment when I needed something, it was given to me. Not necessarily a cool towel or, you know, just like a small gesture or a pat on the back or someone just saying, you did a good job. Those small moments sometimes mean more than anything mm. anything anything physical or it could be physical you know like a small token or something but those tiny things that you're thankful for that just put everything into perspective you know kind of like not not quite like this but you know the what is it called the overview effect when astronauts go to, into space and they see the world and they like it puts everything in perspective for you mm. i want to hear stories of either that or tiny things that you have been incredibly thankful for or moments when you've been given something and it's really moved you or touched you and it's very very special way. That's what I want. 